Step one, power on. Check the two things, water and beans. Back here, we're good on water. That should give us a couple shots. Sorry. So, something to keep in mind when you start out, this is where your port filter goes. Your port filter is what holds the beans and ultimately what gets the espresso to go through. I always like to start out putting it in place. So you insert it in the unlock position and you turn to the right until it's about a 90 degree angle. You don't have to go super hard. Um, single or double shot. We have the double bowl in right now, so double. I warm up the porta filter because if you have a cold porta filter, you can actually make a bad shot because the espresso doesn't get hot enough when it comes through. So I'll do an initial just dry run. There's no beans in it. So once that bad boy is done. Looks like when I have a really bad cold, just like I the two nostrils dripping. Clean this out. You don't want any grinds in here already. And then dry it off. And it's actually important to dry it off. Why? If you have it wet, the beans will get wet early yeah. on and then it affects the flavor. Okay. Nate, make sure you get the snow too. Then, make sure you're in double. This has already been tuned. So you have basically, you have three factors that affect um, the pressure on your espresso. The amount of grind, the granularity of grind, or the fineness, uh, and then how much you tamp it. So this has been set, we're at eight, goes from zero to 15, and then you have a grind amount less to more. It's pretty, you know, you figure it out as you go. And each bean type, has a different amount that you're going to need and different grind depending on the bean. To get the grind in, you simply push in and let go. It's going to seem like there's too much grind in here, but it's pre tamped. It's Yo, not pre tamped. This is before it's been tamped. Oh, I see, I see. Pull this out. So these are a few, a few tips I use. I do the palm first to flatten it out. And then pull your tamper out. Tamper's right here, it's magnetic. Start here. This metal line should go just below the porta filter. And then an easy way to get all this off is I blow on it and twist. And you should see a flat surface. How do you know how far down you need to go again? You see this metal on the uh -huh. tamper? It should go just in line with the top of the porta filter. Okay. I mean, it's, that's a rough gauge. Now you're ready to insert, lock. We need a cup, wash one of these. No <laughs> where's the Where's the sponge? <laughs> it's at the bottom of the sink. Oh, that is not where you wanna go. It's how you wash a day. Oh, are you still? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. All right, so. I'm going to pause it for a second. <laughs> um, put it right underneath the porta filter. I'll often take this way. And you want to do double shot, because we have double bowl, and we have double grind amount. And you want this espresso range to be in the gray. If it's if it's under-infused or over-infused, you're going to have problems with taste. Over-infused, it won't come through. Under-infused, it might taste a little bit weird. So this is an indication of the... Of if, it, if it did it right, because you can't actually change anything at this moment. Yeah, so you see, this that's the golden range. We want I could have put a little more in, or made it a little more fine. Okay. And then you'll see, cream it like this, if done properly. Milk. Next step, totally other part of the battle. This is also, sometimes I'll put it on top, because this is built in warmer. Can you feel it? Oh. So. You can put your bagels there. First thing you do, there's a little switch over here. It goes either hot water, it comes from the spigot or steamer, which is right here. Go ahead and start the steamer. While you're getting warmed up, you fill up. For one of these cups, you know, I would say a half inch from the bottom. This is the key step. Turn off the steamer, insert it in. I line up with the nose. You have 15 seconds to start the steam wand again. Start it up, and you put it on the corner because you want to make a vortex. The noise you want to hear is like this. It sounds like paper ripping. Do that for about seven, eight seconds. Then you submerge the tip. It's where you hear nothing almost. 
And then you're holding onto the handle and you're just waiting until it gets hot. You've already aerated it, this is just the heating stage. And this is kind of preference, how hot you want it. Keep in mind the less milk you put in, the shorter this will take. You want it to be like too hot to touch, pretty much. Nate, you want to see uh, Mickelson uh, licking Charlotte's finger? <laughs> pretty cute. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty hot. I like it too hot to touch, and then I let it go for a little longer. That's what she said. Key, okay. very key Never. step. Very key this. step. Pull down. <laughs> that's pretty good. Wet rag. And immediately, while this is still wet, wipe off the steam on. This will save you. And then purge the line. Purge the line. Just a quickie, nothing much. You still want milk in it. So then, you see bubbles up here? It's okay. Give it a few taps. And then give it a swirl. Okay. Now the pour is another part. Start off high. You want to get it underneath the espresso. Then you start about in the middle and you just twirl it. And go up again and through. Oh, oh, oh. Are you drinking that? Well, I wouldn't. Uh... Voila. Another sign of whether your espresso is properly Perfect. ratioed, like if you had too oh, little, really good. If you had too little grind in, when sip. you pull this open, the portafilter would be wet. The fact that it's dry means we're good, and you can just pour right in. And it should come out clean. Wow. That's it. Thank you.